Hey everybody, what's going on? How's it going? I don't know why this there's a red splotch on my ear. Nobody's been nibbling it, unfortunately. Hello, we've got hot coffee and a and a little tree. I kind of didn't I moved that hot coffee sign over too much. Maybe I'll scoot over, except I've got this gigantic Timu bag that I can't, I can't lift with just one hand. It takes two hands to open it. It's this big. It's about three or four feet tall, and I think it weighs about 70 pounds. Oh, Lord, help us. In fact, I forgot to get my phone queued up to look to see where in the world these orders are and what is in it, but Anyway, how was your day? My day, <sighs> that's it right there. Just a big sigh. It was a rough day at work. Some rough things happened today that kind of almost made me say, you know, maybe I will be a full-time YouTuber. No, that would be horrible. I would never, ever give up my retirement benefits, my health insurance, all of that stuff, that's crazy. But I mean, the people who decide to become full-time YouTubers are really brave. But if you've got, you know, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Is that how the saying goes? I don't know, but I'm not giving up my bird in the hand. I don't know how long it's going to be. Before. How long can this exist anyway? How long can this go on? All right, I've got orders on my phone. So now we can get through this gigantic bag and lord help us that's all we can do is just say what in the world is in this thing i'm just i guess i'm just gonna start pulling things out let's see how long my nails last let me know if you can hear me okay i don't know i mean i'm just using an ipad so i don't know if i could get some kind of a microphone or i don't I don't know, you guys. All right, the first thing in here is something brown. It's a happy face. But wait a minute now. I ordered a gray. Somebody tell me if I'm going colorblind. Okay, it's an oversized happy face sweater hoodie. It's got a hood. With green ties but I'm about to show you in fact I'm wearing this tomorrow it is pouring outside you guys I was scared driving home in my hoopty hydroplaning and I was I'm scared I almost pulled over and said I don't think I can do this I don't think I can do this and I was only like two minutes away from my house but I didn't think I could do it then the song came on that my dad used to always call to re back in the days when you could call up radio stations and request songs. My dad used to always call and request them to play um, Forever Young by Rod Stewart. He said that song made him think of me. <gasps> and that came on when I right when I was having a panic attack. And see, now I'm getting all teary again. And I almost had to pull over because I was getting all teary. I miss my dad during the holidays. I know we all have loved ones that we miss during the holidays and also I miss my cat Clover especially so much that it hurts like it feels like there's no floor underneath me sometimes okay this is the picture and of the happy face oversized happy face hoodie and I thought it was gray with a black smile but it's more of a brown with a green smile and is does it really have like a lining at the bottom not really the bottom looks like it's got like a white piping at the bottom or something but no the bottom of it is just like the bottom of a doesn't really look much I don't know nothing looks like the photos these days to me on Timu I don't know what's going on the color I picked right there, gray. You could pick between black 
or you could pick right here, click this button, and it says, it says gray. It doesn't say brown. This is more of a brown, right? Am I going crazy? Have I really, like, I'm concerned that I'm going color blind? Maybe this is gray and it just looks brown to me. Let me know, please. And I'm not trying to trick people into commenting. I really want to know. <laughs> am I going color? Is that gray and am I just seeing it as brown? Because this has happened to me before. Sometimes I see red as something else. I don't know. All right. Well, that was cool. Oh, how much was that? I'm sorry. That was... Um, see more order information. I paid... I don't want to take my glasses off my head because I got soaked. My hair got soaked. What? It's still red? Why? The more I rub it, then it's going to get red. I paid $18.39 for it, and it is now $20.98 if you want one like that. Now, I will try to link to all these orders if I can remember what they are. Okay, there's one thing. All right, I think I'm going to wear that tomorrow with jeans because it's casual day. All right, the next thing I feel is... Oh, this is a poster of 100 movies, and I don't know if you guys have seen this in your feeds or not, but apparently it's a scratch-off poster, and I just, here's what I did. I just threw this in my cart at the last minute because I was playing Fishland, and I was putting in an order through Fishland, well, I wasn't ordering specifically to win Fishland, but I, I had to place an order and I said I'm going to place it through Fishland so I can get the fish food, which is kind of how Fishland works. And so I went to Fishland, I put the order in, and I learned that if I put like $3 more in my order or whatever, I would get more fish food. So I grabbed this movie poster because I thought... It looked cool. It is 100 movies scratch off poster. It is $5.99. And fix my light, even though there's a fly on it. Let me see if I can get it out carefully without ruining it. So let's all um, start a pool on how long I can keep my fingernails on. I say, I say 10 minutes at least. What are we on? Well, it's 7 minutes and 52 seconds right now. So, I say 15. I say no. I say I'm going to lose them any minute now. It's trying to get this box open. I'm just going to cut the box open. Not only is it hard to drive when it's pouring, but there are people who drive purposefully. It almost seems like maniacs when it's pouring. Or maybe they always drive like maniacs and it's just worse when it's pouring. But people, it's like they're trying to prove to themselves in the world that they can drive fast in the rain. Or I don't even know, but there was that too. Okay, so it comes with a little guitar pick. And let me get the rubber bands off it. Now, am I really going to do this? I don't know. But what you do is you scratch, I think, if I'm understanding correctly, you scratch off the little spaces and then you watch whatever movie is under the space. So it's got a protective, it's, a, it's really good paper, so it's not flimsy. And it's 100 Academy Award winning movies, I think. Let me put it under this so I can get this off. And then you, if you've got, you know, a partner, a significant other, a spouse, a good friend or whatever, you can make it your goal to watch all 100 movies. And then when you're done, you scratch it off. And it shows like a little version of the movie poster under the scratch off. Thing. So let me read some of the movies. Shawshank Redemption is one of them. A Few Good Men, 
12 years a slave, the king's speech, all the president's men, raging bull, Argo, the usual suspects, Avatar. Is Sling Blade on here? It should be. Butch Cassidy and the Sun Dance Kid, Dirty Dancing, Casablanca, 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 Casa. I'm so tired. Casablanca. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Four Weddings and a Funeral. What about the Goonies? No? Inception? I hate that movie. I'm sorry. Crash? I kind of hate that too. Psycho? Okay. Pulp Fiction? All right. Roman Holiday? Of course. Is Breakfast at Tiffany's on here? They're in... They're in alphabetical order. Back to the Future, Braveheart, E.T. I'm not going to read all 100. Sea Biscuit, shut up. Schindler's List, absolutely. Pirates of the... Up. Anywho, all right, 100 movies. The Ultimate Bucket List Collection. They all won... Either Best Direction, Best Actor, Best Picture, Best Screenplay, Best Original Score, Best Film Editing. It's really cool, you guys. It's a cool little project for you to do either, you know, by yourself or with a friend or whatever. And then you scratch it off and you can track your progress. Now, how do I get this? Where do I, where do I put it physically in this room and course you know can't get a frame well you can't frame it because then you wouldn't be able to scratch it but ideally you'd probably want to put it somewhere near the tv or near your remote control and then save this little guitar pick for the scratching and that's kind of a cool christmas or holiday hanukkah kwanzaa whatever you celebrate festivus for the rest of us gift for $5.99 so awesome all right that took like five minutes to explain okay the next thing in here is something big in a big bag like this oh i think this is a duvet cover Let's see. If it is, I don't want to take it out of this thing. I I ordered a duvet cover, but I ordered a fluffy, fuzzy one. So I'm going to stick my hand in this and see if it's fuzzy, it's furry. Oh, it's ra oh, it's um shrink wrapped. But does it look furry? I'm going to guess that this is my duvet cover. Yes, I see some fur right there. Okay, see that? All right, I'm not going to open this right now. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? I will show it to you and then you'll understand why I don't want to cut this thing open right now. Why I want to keep it in its little gray container until I can, I can't wait to make over this bed, which will require, you know, putting my comforter in the duvet cover, cleaning my comforter, putting it in the duvet cover. Should I get the duvet cover cleaned? Or should I just trust that there are no... What did somebody tell me once? They ordered something from China and there were like worm eggs in it or something. They didn't wash it first. That's a that's an urban legend. Stop it. Anyway, here, look at this. There it is. I paid a pretty penny for it, I think. I paid... $43 and 40. Okay. I'm going to have to bring this down for a minute. I paid $43 and 47 cents. Wow. I can barely see out of those glasses. I've got to clean them and they, it is plush duvet and I picked pure white. Ah, it's going to look fun. All right, can you see? I don't know if you can really see it, but it's plush. It's furry. So it's all fur. And in the winter, I can put the furry duvet cover on top of me with that 
soft if you caught my last haul. And if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome to my channel. And if you're returning, thank you for returning. And if you caught my last haul, I think it was my last haul that I hauled this ultra soft fitted sheet, like a flannel fitted sheet. And then I could be like the people in Europe and just do a fitted sheet with the duvet cover and not do a top sheet. Is that what they do? Anywho, let me see what this costs if you want this. Creamy white, which is sold out. Okay, let me pick another color then. They had pink. That's $40.77. Okay, it looks like they are now $40.77. So where's my price adjustment, Timu? Where's my price adjustment? It's not there. I don't have a $3.77 price adjustment or whatever. $3.37. Okay, the next thing in here is Merry Christmas. What is this? This doesn't look like the picture. You know what? Timo is getting a little shady these days. I guess this is a pop-up thing. This is a little cami. So everybody said, oh, I love this sweater. It turned out looking cute. I hauled this some time ago from Timu, but you can see right through it. So yeah, I'm wearing a lace cami under it and... This, if you missed, thank you if you watched my coffee video that I did at lunchtime. That means a lot to me when you guys watch those. Thank you for watching. It shows the company that I can, you know, deliver. I can at least bring them the views and stuff. You don't have to buy it. You can just say, cool coffee, brah, or whatever. I always laugh when people do that. And... But I do have to pull this cami strap up because it's falling. Okay, my undergarments are falling off. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, so if you missed it, I'm wearing this sweater. I'm wearing the stacked leaves autumn necklace. I'm wearing gold hoops with it. I guess I've got this permanently red ear over there. I don't know. I've never seen it do that before. So now I'm a little worried. Maybe I got bit by something and I just didn't even know. Or maybe it's red from, wait a minute. No, I was going to say, I usually keep my earpiece in my ear all day in this, in this ear. What would you guys do if I just had a meltdown and started chopping off all my hair on camera? I guess I would get a lot of views. Just for the lol cow factor alone there's this girl and oh my gosh she went crazy and she just started cutting off her hair in the middle of her video just hacking at it with these big scissors okay well, i figured out what this is i have to put this together i have to do it myself it's a do-it-yourself wooden Christmas display. Now, I don't remember reading do it yourself anywhere, but it, oh my gosh, what in the world? It's got a little diagram and everything. Oh no, it's got directions. Are you kidding me? I look, Christmas scene, do it yourself. Do it yourself Christmas scene, and it be, it's like a multi layered Christmas scene. And uh, uh, it doesn't look that hard, but it looks like something I'd rather someone else do and not me. And I shouldn't have cut it all open because I didn't know there were so many pieces to it. But I, what? Like the picture, I don't remember the picture saying anything about I'm going to be pulling at this all night. It's going to bug all of us. I should have put on my pajamas before I did this video. I should have fixed a drink, chilled out from this weird day at work. I had horrible drive home and it is $7.90. That thing is $7.98 and I picked, you can pick from Snowman or Santa Claus Village and I think I picked Snowman. I picked Snowman. Okay, look. 
Well, it's going to be hard to see. This is the picture. So I just thought I was ordering another wood cutout thing like this. I don't know anywhere that it says do it yourself. It says Christmas Wooden Decoration, Christmas Village, Creative Handmade DIY Christmas Gifts. Okay, you have to expand the whole title of it to finally get down to the do-it-yourself part. All right, that was $7.98. Even put together, though, that is not worth $7.98. More like $5, okay. Four, I would say $4 and something is more like it. Okay, the next thing in here... I thought it was going to be like the joy sign that I showed you guys yesterday, except a Christmas village. That's what I was hoping for. Well, that's what I'm not just hoping. I was expecting that. Okay, this is something that's wrapped in dirty bubble. Like, really, it's filthy bubble wrap. I don't... Am I just projecting? Am I projecting everything bad <laughs> that happened to me today onto everything I ordered from Timu? But it does look dirty and filthy. Or the tape is dirty or something's dirty. I don't want to touch it. What is it? What is it? Okay. Oh. It's a huge horse. Holy cow. It's a Swedish dollar horse. Now, I wanted it to be smaller. I had no... <laughs> whoever thought we would say that on this channel, but I wanted it to be smaller. I had no idea it was this big. Cheese. Are my teeth all right? Everything looks tired. The red ear, though. What is this? What is happening right here? Stop it. Stop. There's a little fly flying around the light. Everything. Okay. Cheese. It's a thumbnail picture of a horse and Timu and coffee and fall. Merry Christmas, everybody. All right. Hopefully some kind of a picture comes out of that. I look like I'm snarling. All right, I don't know. Okay, that horse, of course, it's a horse, of course. That is beautifully painted. Look at the saddle. Look at the mane. Nice, beautiful head. And the bottom painted all the way around. The legs. Another tchotchke. Oops. Oops, is it in this order? Please be in this order. Don't make me go looking for it. It's not in this order. Now, I want to, I have to find it because I want to see, did I have a choice between sizes or among sizes even? Oh, no, I didn't have a choice. Good, because, well... How do I see see more order information? Okay. <laughs> the wooden Swedish dollar horse. I'll show you something funny. Oh, yeah. There are the measurements right there. 6.3 inches. There's, a, there's one picture with like a blue. <laughs> this one. Look at the picture. They even drew an arrow pointing to the big one. And yet I was still shocked. Because you know the way Timu rolls, I was expecting the small one to be like tiny, 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 small. And this one to be the normal size of like the normal Swedish dollar horses that you see. But no, that is huge. You can pick between red, green. 
you can pick the small ones. The small ones are $8.98, which is what I wanted. The big one, the large one, Trojan Red, is $11.48, and it is the number four bestseller in this shop. And you can get it in red or green, and I paid $11.47 for it. Okay. Well, that is one big horse. Here's his little tail on the back, too. That's funny. I'll put that with the, my other horses. Horses, horses, horses. Okay, my clothes are falling off. Stop it. Next is a pink sweatshirt with a nutcracker on it. Turning Christmas pink. Oh, but it's fleece on the inside. Yay. And it's soft. It's not too spongy on the outside. Yay. This, of course, just got ironed on right before they stuck it in the envelope. But it's really pretty. And it's a little spongy on the outside. But I really don't care. It's what... It's what it feels like on the inside that I care about. And as you can see, it's got that nice soft fleece. It smells like plastic. And yeah, it's pretty. It's beautiful. Maybe I'll wear that tomorrow and I'll just go into the office and say, Merry bleeping Christmas, everybody. I'm celebrating early. If you have a problem with that, Take it to HR. <laughs> Take it to HR. I have a friend who's in HR. I just throw those jokes in there for her. Because sometimes she watches this channel. Take it to HR. Okay. I paid $9.99. What? That's not an attractive look. I paid $9.99 for that. I got a price adjustment on it. It is now $9.98. So I got a penny for my thoughts and my purchase. How are we doing on time? 27 minutes. Here's something small. Oh, Lord, everybody do a shot. I think it's a charm. I can't stop looking at that do-it-yourself Christmas village, and I just want to take it and throw it throw it right in the trash. Just throw it in the trash. Just say eight bucks in the trash. Hashtag blessed to be able to take an $8 and just throw it in the trash when there are people who would kill for $8 they can eat. Okay, now I feel really guilty and horrible, actually. Why do I let my mouth run like that? It's not funny. There's nothing funny about that. What is on this charm? Hmm. It is a charm for a bracelet. I believe it is a reindeer in a snowy forest with a little snowflake also hanging down from it for my bracelet that might never get made. Because what I learned last night from assembling the Hello Kitty bracelet is my patience wears very thin when I'm putting bracelets together. Plus, I need some real spacer beads to really space things out. Not just skinny beads that I call spacer beads. Okay, let's see if we can do this. It's a reindeer. Okay, first, there, there's my finger that the claw, Luna's claw got with a sore on it. Okay, if you look past that, I believe, even I can't see that. I don't know what that is. A reindeer in a forest with the snowflake hanging down? I don't know. But fortunately, they gave me a little plastic box to put it in because that is small. And guess what? I'm not going to look for that now. I'm sure it's going to come up later. It probably cost about seven bucks with my luck. Here are aw, some little snowman earrings. They're little, 
pom poms with snowman snow snowmans with snowmans on them with snowmen on them or snow women we don't have to assign a gender to them if we don't want to we can call them snow people look at how cute they are they are really, really adorable. Those are awesome. Merry Christmas. You can even wear these in the winter. You can wear them in January, maybe. I don't know. People might be like, put the Christmas earrings away. Okay, let's see if I can find the snowman, snow people, the snow people earrings. In the meadow, we could build a snow person. <laughs> okay. I want to try to put them back in their little bag. My plastic bag that I have that's full of holiday-themed jewel jewelry. Welcome to my channel where I can never say the word jewelry. It's getting really full to the point where I don't think I can fit very much more in it. Oh, here's that charm, you guys. As long as we're looking at stuff. I mean, I might as well just see what the heck that is and how much it cost. Okay, I paid $10.98 for that. Nine twenty-five dollars sterling. I can't even speak. I'm so shocked. 925 sterling silver. It is now, it's still 998. And it is. Uh, well, they do show it on a hand. Okay. It looks like this reindeer in a forest with a little snowflake. Wow, though, I'm shook. That's a lot to pay for a charm for a bracelet. Well, not compared to like Pandora or, you know, anywhere else. Why didn't I put my pajama top on before I did this? My yelling ever since somebody told me that they could barely hear me or that my sound goes in and out during the video. I don't know what to do about that. That's perplexing to me. I'm looking for the snowman earrings and we might not ever know how much those cost because I don't know what order that was from. I don't know. I don't see them. Horses, no. We just looked at that one. They're not in there. It's cold, you guys. No. There they are. I found them. I found them. I found them. You guys, there are so many orders in this bag. I don't know if I'm going to be able to link to all of them. Okay, they're 88 I paid 88 cents and now they're 98 cents. Those little Oh, I paid 89 cents. And now they're 98 cents. Is that what I said? All right, here's something else. This is a set of three pairs of yoga pants. Because they looked nifty. They feel like swimming suit bottoms. They have pockets. They're supposed to have pockets. They do have pockets. They have pockets. They're stretchy. I mean, they're stretchy like yoga pants. They're not comfy. I mean, if you're looking for some comfy leggings, like these are not it. But this is like you did get, you do get three in this order. You get gray. You get this color of gray. Or maybe even four. Hold on. You get this color of red. Then you get, what do they call it? Bean paste pink. 
bean paste pink. And then you get something that's trying to be a black, but it's like a muted black, like a smoky black. So you get four pairs of these leggings. Put them there. Lord, my bed is getting covered with all this junk again. I just got it all cleaned off. Somebody asked me, what do I do with all this stuff? I donate a lot of it. Sometimes I do just chuck some things in the trash. If they're really cheesy and cheap and I don't want to give them or donate or they're not even worth donating. And I put some of them away and I use a lot of them. I mean, every time you see me on this channel, I'm usually decked out in Timu Sweater, necklace, earrings, pants are not from Timu, underwear is from Timu, the cami is not from Timu. What else? Anything else from Timu? No. The blush is from Timu, the lipstick is from Timu, the eyeliner is from Timu. I just put blush over my eyes, that's from Timu. The eyebrow grooming stuff is not from Timu. So I, I use a lot of it. So a set of four high waist yoga leggings is 20. Now it's $29.99. I paid $24.99 for a set of four. But the price has gone way up by like five bucks. Okay. What else is in here? Let me guess. Fingernails perhaps? Where are the cats? They were right here. I don't know where they've gone now. Loki! I don't know. Why, why would I call him? <laughs> yes. <gasps> oh, look at these Christmas fingernails. Do a shot to everybody who's playing. But these look like the right size. And they look fun, don't they? Why are my hands shaking so far? Oh, this ring is from Timu. Why are my hands shaking so violently? cheese they make me happy yes they do all right sit up straighten up my sweater oh don't take a thumbnail with this cami sticking out right there bothering me all right am i going to look through thousands of orders for those no but when we find them i will tell you how much they cost Okay, is this, can this be used as a trash bag for right now? Because once again on the checklist, I forgot to bring over trash bag and batteries. I mean, not that I don't know if anything needs batteries or not, but if it does, we don't have batteries. Oh no, I ordered another canvas thing, but I have no room on my walls left to put any more canvas art. I don't know what this is. Lipstick is from Timu. Did I already say that? I put that blue or that purple, that black lipstick on that turns purple or whatever. It still looks a little... Oops. I pulled out the styrofoam. The cats like to play with this thing. If Loki ever shows up, I'll give that to them. They must be downstairs under the bed. I don't know. I woke them up when I got home from work, which is a bad sign. That means they'll be up all night. I woke up again in the middle of the night. I must not, you know, if you asked me to fall asleep on my back, no, there's no way I'd be able to do it. But then once I fall asleep on my side, I thought I was a side sleeper, but I always wake up and I'm lying on my back. So I must fall asleep and then turn over on my back in my sleep. And then Loki sleeps on my chest with his little face right in my neck. And the first time it scared me. The second time he woke me up licking my face in the middle of the night. And now I'm just getting used to it. What is this? And why can't I get it open? Well, we're not surprised that I can't get it open. But what in the world is this? Okay, it is. Okay, they are really protective of whatever this is. I mean, they wrapped it and wrapped it. Oh, 
It's a map of Westeros. If you don't know it from Game of Thrones. Very cool. And the free cities. It's cool. I wish it were, were way bigger, though. I should have got... They had a big size, but I just got the small size because I'm not a dork. Like, I thought... If I had a gigantic poster or picture of Westeros on my wall, come on. You know, I don't know if it was it, if it came in a bigger size or not. I got the small size. Now I kind of wish I would have gotten the gigantic size. That's really cool. That makes me happy. I love Game of Thrones. Oh, I want to watch it again. And I want to read the books again. I want to do all the things. But I don't have, I never have time. I barely even have time to read a book. I was asking in my coffee video, when in the world does anybody, am I allowed to share my thoughts on The Wives? The book, The Wives, that we all were going to read together as a book club and it just kind of went nowhere. I mean, we all read, a lot of us read it. We never really, I don't know how to run a book club. I don't, especially if it's just me talking. I paid $3.83 for this. Only one size available. The small size. The big size is, oh, I got the big size. 12 inch by 16 inch. Huh. Is that 12 inch? is by I don't know yeah I don't know because I paid 383 and the next one is or is it 8 inch by 12 inch I don't know you guys but regardless it's not a big difference in size difference what 4 inches I paid 383 and the 12 inch by 16 inch is 383 the the 8 inch by 12 inch is 267. So I'm guessing I got the biggest size they had available because I paid 383. Oh, it says 12 inch by 16 inch. It says it right there in front of my face. All right. So you couldn't get it any bigger. Good. I don't have. Oh, Lord. All right. Get your drinks ready. I'm going to go through them really fast here. I'm going to pick them all up. At least the ones I can see. I'm just going to really quickly go through them. I really only see three. Wow, I see a lot of jewelry. Okay, ready? Here we go. Blue and white French tips. Little tips with hearts on them. Do it yourself. Upside down. Ho, ho, ho. Candy canes and hearts and red nails. Those are big. All right, there. That's kind of all I can find. Oh, here are the handmade ones, you guys. Those fancy nails were $2.99 and they are now sold out. Those fancy Christmas nails... Okay, what is this? This is a bird hook. Do I have to put it together? Two pieces. <sighs> so weary of everything coming in, in pieces. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. It is so small. It is so small. It's a hook shaped like a bird in brushed silver. I don't... Two pieces. I don't see two pieces. Oh. Oh, there are two. There are two. It comes with two birds. Okay. They're birds. It's for the birds. I thought these were going to be a lot bigger. Sometimes I do look at the dimensions. Sometimes I don't. Here comes a Loki. Now they got a little askew in 
here they go like this and they've got 3m stickers on the back and they are do they have a protective film coating on them i don't know i don't think so i don't know what i'll use it for maybe hot coffee can hang off a bird i don't know but you guys know i like hooks how much did those, those cost when we find them? I will tell you. Because I don't know. Although now I'm just absentmindedly looking for them. <sighs> Sweater is falling off. Maybe if I got clothes that were the right size, they wouldn't fall off. Here's my bird hook. The bird hook was $2. I paid $2.28. It's now $1.98. This is the picture of them. You can choose between like a goldish or like a coppery color, a black color, or a silver color. I thought they looked really cute. They, they are really cute. They're just tiny. Finches. This is a brooch, and I thought it was funny. Forty-six minutes. We're not even close to being done. Oh no. This could be my longest. I hope you guys are comfortable. I'm going to start talking like this in case you're falling. I mean, in case you're listening to this while you're falling asleep. It's Little Red Riding Hood wolf with the grandmother and Little Red Riding Hood in its stomach. Which is, you brought me a toy. Here, I'm going to throw it. Are you ready? He brought me a toy. I'm going to throw it. Here we go. Go get it. Going to play fetch. I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna open it. <laughs> they dangle. That's really sick, actually. If you know the story of Little Red Riding Hood, the wolf ate the grandmother dressed in her clothing. And then did he end up eating Little Red Riding Hood at the end, too? Maybe. Maybe in the dark original version, but there they both are in his stomach. That's really, really, like, I really like, <laughs> I really like that a lot. That's kind of one of my favorite things in this haul, as weird as that sounds. And the Christmas nails, I like those, and I like the Westeros sign. I like my Dala horse, even though it's huge. I like, um, yeah, I like everything here. He brought it back. Give it to me and I'll throw it. Give it to me again and I'll throw it again. Just stay on that side of the camera. Please don't come over here. But if you bring me your toy, I will throw it. I paid $1.37 for Red Riding Hood. Here comes Luna getting in on the action. Now she's, it's sold out. Aww. That's a shame, because I know you guys all wanted to share in that joy. Okay, they're going to knock over my high-tech studio. They're fighting over that thing now. What did I pay? One thirty-seven. Okay, let me get the trash under control, everybody. Here, somebody go get this. Go get that. Just give me a moment, please, to get trash under control. Trash, trash, trash. Oh my gosh, she throws away her trash while she's making a video. She talks too much. She's too slow. She complains a lot. She whines. She's too soft. She's too loud. Sometimes the comments just echo through my head like that. These are some little... Oh, she brought me something. Where is it? Her cats are always in the video. These are some little earrings that look like this. Um, I believe they're supposed to be Bulgari. 
knockoffs. We're all about to fall. Everybody's about to fall. Here's Loki, everybody. Hey, Loki. Loki. There's Loki. He's going to lay down now and be a good boy. Anyway, they're really pretty. I'm excited about these. They're the kind of earrings I like. Small and just kind of understated. Okay, I don't know how much those were. I don't know where they are. I, I know we have to hurry or we're going to be here all night long. My Alexa is turned off, so I can't ask it. Oh, there's Luna under the... Okay, okay, we're all having a big party. When I see those, I'll tell you, here are some earrings that are really cute there. Loki's in the garbage bag. They are snow globes made out of acrylic. They are big, and I don't know if I'm brave enough to wear them. Am I courageous enough to wear them? They're really cool, though. Woo! I like the way they reflect the light. I mean, yeah, I'll wear them the week before Christmas or something. Wow, those are really nifty. Those are really cool. Snow globes, those are awesome. Okay, I like those. They make me happy. They make me happy. Actually, nothing can make you feel anything. Yeah, I when I see them, I feel happy. Or when I see them, I feel sad. Or when you talk to me, I feel angry. Anybody who's been through any kind of therapy knows that. Okay. Snow globe earrings are... Wait a minute. I thought I just saw them. Here they are. A dollar thirty-four, and they are still around. The claws. There goes Luna. No, I'm not getting her declawed. You can, you guys can stop writing these passionate things about cats getting declawed. I'm not getting her declawed. Everybody, do a shot. Here's another bead that looks like a snowman. I'm not going to take it out, but snowman. Cute, though. It's really cute. I'm afraid, frankly, to look at how much I paid for it because they're expensive. I'm learning. And sometimes I get caught up in a moment. And look, I'm already kind of looking for it, going, how much did I pay for that thing? Do I really want to know? There it is. I found it. Oh, Lord. Somebody hold my hand. While I look, I only paid two dollars and thirty-four cents for it, or two twenty-four. That's a two. I only paid two twenty-four for that, and it is sterling silver. Oh no, it's silver plated. Okay, let's get something substantial out of here. What is this? I'm just gonna go ahead and take off my top. Just gonna take off my top. See how long it takes before this video gets taken down. Just get up and leave you guys staring at a blank wall while I throw on this Nutcracker sweatshirt. Or I could do it Girl Scout style and throw on the Nutcracker sweatshirt on top of my sweater and then pull my arms in, take off my sweater and yank it out through the neck. You guys, anybody who went to Girl Scout camp and stuff, you know how to, like, change clothes, like, without anybody. You know, we were all too shy to change in front of each other and stuff. And everybody had these stealth ways of taking off shirts or changing into pajamas or whatever. Maybe it was just me. I don't know. This looks like it could be a crystal because it's all wrapped up like a crystal. They usually wrap crystals like this, so I'm guessing it's some kind of a crystal. Ouch, man, that really hurt. I pinched my finger in the handle of these scissors, and it made a loud popping sound at the same time I pinched my finger, which scared me. Okay. If I'm not talking, I tend to become a mouth breather while I'm opening these things. Oh, 
Oh, it's a little, it's another little Christmas tree, you guys. I got the white one. It's a resin Christmas tree filled with little white stones. They say, well, it's probably opalite, which is fake opals, but it's pretty. It looks like a winter tree. Nice. I'll put it next to my purple amethyst tree and that will be enough. So you can kind of see the bottom. That's really pretty too. The bottom is pretty. It's pretty. I forgot how much these cost. If I see it, I will let you know. But let's keep going. And I will see it and I will let you know. Uh-oh, everybody do a shot. Shots, shots, shots. Fifty-five minutes and forty-two seconds. We've seen these before. I got them in medium this time. They're like <laughs> spilling over. Here's another box. Oh, this is a Halloween thing. For next Halloween. Halloween nesting dolls. Okay, trick-or-treaters. Are they all in one piece? They're all in one piece. They're just open. Here's another trick-or-treater. <laughs> Cute. Okay, and inside this one, there's another trick-or-treater with his little jack-o'-lantern trick-or-treat. And then in this one, finally, oh, nope, there are two more. Okay, there's another trick-or-treater dressed like a ghost or a skeleton ghost or something skeleton ghost and then on the inside there's a little tiny dog with ears yes a little dog <laughs> that's cute you guys that's adorable now i kind of do want to get some christmas nesting i've been looking at christmas nesting dolls i forgot how much i love them the inner child in me gets delighted. Well, the inner child gets delight in me is redundant, but the inner child gets delighted by nesting dolls. They just delight me. Okay, there's there we go. Put this one back in the uh oh, I lost. Here it is. Okay, put this one back in this trick or treater. Okay. And put this one back in the big trick-or-treater. Or is this the mom? This might be the mom with all her kids and the dog. I don't know. We could make up a whole story about them if we had the time, but we don't. Her hair, she's got hair. Cute. Yeah, it might be the mom because she's not really dressed up like anything. And those might be all her kids and their dog. What did I pay for that? I don't know. Is it in this order? I wish I had a bottle of water right now. feel the need to hydrate desperately. I know there's a bottle of water somewhere around here. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm I'm trying to find the trick or treat. I want to know how much I paid for those. Do you hear it raining? Can you hear it pouring? It's kind of nice to get under the covers and watch a spooky movie with some hot chocolate. Has anyone seen Insidious? Um, or what are they on? Like five now or something? It just came out on Netflix. You guys, I don't know where the trick-or-treaters are. 
Here comes the Loki. If he steps on this, I will just keep, I'll start a new video and I will splice it together in iMovie, which is my favorite thing to do. I'm going to try one more time to find these really quickly. And then if I can't, uh, you guys know how it works. They come up eventually, sooner or later. There's the Christmas tree. The Christmas tree cost... I paid $6.99 for that. I paid $6.99 for that. And it is now $6.98. So there's that. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm sorry. I've looked and looked and looked and they're eluding me. They're, they're like pro those things that are like right in front of my face, but I can't see them, or find them. Are they with the Pac-Man stuff? No. Are they with these nails? No. 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 I don't know. Someday I'll find them and I'll let you know how much those nesting dolls are. Okay, the next thing is a necklace with the Targaryen. We're still back on Game of Thrones. The Targaryen dragons on it. Fire and blood. And do you see how long it is? Would I ever wear this like, to work or anything? No, I would just hang it up with my Game of Thrones stuff. I've got a Game of Thrones table with all my Game of Thrones collectibles on it. Unless the cats have demolished it. It's downstairs. But there's that. I'm not going to open it right now. Throw it this way. But there it is right there. How much did I pay for it? It cost... It costs right now $2.98. And you can pick between that silvery color. You can pick between an antique bronze. Or you can pick between a fiery red. Okay, pull the clothes back on. Sit up. Try pulling this down back here. So that will stop that from doing that. Okay, next in here is a little case for my iPhone. Because I'm getting tired of the pop sockets that are on it. And I think I got the right one. I think I have an iPhone 13. 14? 13, 14? Yes, I do. And it's a little case and it should come with a strap. It does. It comes with a strap. So I'm always running around with my iPhone out of my purse. Um, the only thing is, I don't know how protective this is. I'm guessing not much. But regardless, I don't think it cost very much. I mean, I think it was like seven bucks. Oh, I think it was a spin the wheel deal or it was some kind of extra thing I had. I just grabbed and threw in my Fishland cart to get over 20 bucks or something so I could get more fish food or get fish food or it's got a little pocket right here to put your cards, your ID and your cards in. It's good for just running out into the world. Like, let's say you just have to run an errand or run to the gas station. You want to just put your driver's license and your... And they make them for all the different phones. Like, you pick your phone out of a list of phones. And I think I have an iPhone 13. And, it, and it's not a pro. The company got it for me, so I don't know... I don't know. I mean, I just take whatever the company gives me and I say thanks. But how and where you put these on? I don't know how you put the strap on. Like, where? Oh, 
Right here, maybe? Like, where does the strap go? Like, how do you put the strap on it, though? It's not like it has D-rings on it or anything. It must go... Maybe in these little holes right here? Mayhap. I don't know. I'll mess with it later. I'm not going to take up your time. But if I can get the straps to go on, it's really nifty. It's a nifty little case with the strap. And, oh gosh, Loki's going to run off with the strap. And I know where the, no, Loki, I knew that. I knew that was going to happen. Here he comes. He came in like a wrecking ball. That was da 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 I know it was in like a here it is. Okay, yeah, let me look at the picture. Six it's five ninety-eight. Okay, and the straps do go like this. Okay, that's good to know. iPhone 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro, 14 Max, 12, 11, 8, 7, 13. It goes with a lot. It goes with a lot of iPhones. Those little earrings, titanium, steel, hypoallergenic, are 178. The ones I didn't take out of their wrapper, they look like this. I really love those. That takes care of that order, actually. All right. I'm gonna speed run the rest of these. This is a tape dispenser. Does it already have tape in it? Wow, it's got even got an extra roll of tape in it. For wrapping presents and stuff, I don't I don't necessarily need a tape dispenser. Now my hair is all rained. I got rained on, you guys. I was too lazy to open my umbrella. I was just like, well, I'm getting off work. Okay, here's some tape even. How nice of them. And then they even put tape in this thing too. All right, I'm hooked up with tape. How do you do it? You, I don't know how it works. I don't know how it works. I'll have to... Where are the instructions? Oh, it does come with an instruction booklet. I thought, am I the only one that... Oh, there it goes. It's doing something. I don't know. I don't know how you work. <laughs> I've never had a tape dispenser before. I don't know how you work it. Lord, I'm not looking forward to cleaning all this stuff up. Here's the thing. Hold the device firmly with... Okay, I'll, I'll work it out. I'll work it out later. Because it's, it's an hour. It's an hour and eight minutes. I'm starting to feel a little panicked. I'm starting to feel panicked. Where's my water? Dry mouth and panicked. Tape dispenser was probably... Look at all this stuff that's falling down everywhere. Shoot. Okay. Let's get a grip. Clothes are falling off again. Then there was that one haul where her clothes fell off and she just started crying and chopping off all her hair. And her phone is almost out of batteries. I'm looking for that tape dispenser because I would like to know how much I paid for it. And it's it's got to be easy to find because it's purple. And I'm just looking for a purple thing. Oh, there's my nesting dolls. 
See, they all come up when we least expect it. Okay, nesting dolls are $10.48. Okay, so there's that. Now I can sleep at night. Tape dispenser. I know it, there it is. Tape dispenser is $8.48. And you can get it in a variety of colors. Okay. This is a reindeer ornament. Because it was cute. If it's not right in front of my face and it's not, I don't know. I'm guessing it was only like three. It better have only been about. You can get this at the dollar. I mean, this is Dollar Tree type. Look at my desk is covered with all this stuff. You guys are on my desk and my desk is now getting covered with all of this stuff. Oh, well, it's a reindeer. It will. I will add it to that pile. You could just see in its reflection. And I. it is very cheap feeling. It does not feel like a quality ornament. Wherever it is, whatever it costs, I would say no. Heck no. When it looks a little scraped up. Please tell me I did not pay something like five bucks for that. If so, I'm getting my money back. I'm saying, wait a minute. I got ripped off with this reindeer ornament. It's cheap. It's. I don't want to hurt its feelings. Be quiet. All right, I don't know. We'll find it. We'll find it. The next thing in here are these earrings. In fact, I'm just going to stop with the prices. Unless I see something right in front of my face. Or we see something really extravagant. 20, 24 earrings. So these are, this is, um, I don't know, like a rubbery Kind of plasticky, rubbery plastic. 2024! Happy New Year! You know what I like to do on New Year's Eve? I like to watch the Twilight Zone marathon on the Sci-Fi channel. Even though I've already seen all of them now 8,000 times, it's still my favorite way to spend New Year's Eve. And New Year's Day. And that whole New Year's weekend. Because you know that sci-fi. That Twilight Zone marathon. Goes on and on and on. For like three days. Okay here's a box. Gosh Timu. Why don't you just put everything I ever ordered. Into one giant bag. Oh. No. I did get. I did get nesting dolls. I got nutcracker nesting dolls. Okay, here we go. So here's one. Oh no, and she couldn't get it open. Oh, it's glued shut. Maybe it's not supposed to open. Now that doesn't make any sense. Wait, I can see it kind of opening a little bit. Oh no, you guys. Try just pulling it. That worked. All right, just pull it. Don't twist it. It doesn't twist. It pulls. All right, there's the big guy. Here's the little nutcracker inside. I'm scared. You guys, these are so tough. Okay. It's a test of strength. It's a feat of strength. Here's my favorite so far, blue. And it's easy to open. Here's a little green one. Cheese. What time is it? How much bad? Am I almost out of batteries on everything? Is this the last one? Or is there another one in here? There should be a tiny one in here. <sighs> I hate to say this, but I don't... 
take this ring off. Who would have known that? Ow, shoot, I just cracked my knuckle doing that. They're a little tricker. Should I whack it on something? I can't. I can't get this last one open. I'm trying to believe in myself, too, and I just... I'll work on this later. Ow. I'm going to hurt myself. It does open. I see the line. I'm twisting it, even, to try to loosen it up. And it is just jammed it. Shut. It shouldn't be like a nesting doll should not be some pa painful process. All right, I'll work on this later. And then in a future video, I'll show you what the tiniest one looked like. No, I'm not gonna, going to look for those. Like, that was exhausting. And I feel defeated because I couldn't get the last one open. I feel a little angry, actually. Pack your angry eyes. I was Mrs. Potato Head, you know. I know where the angry eyes are. If you're new to my channel, I was Mrs. Potato Head from Toy Story for Halloween. Not by choice, by force. But I rocked it, I think. I mean, I'm up to whatever challenge you throw at me at the office. Go ahead. Tell me I have to be Mrs. Potato Head. I'll be Mrs. Potato Head. With a smile. Just keep paying me my paycheck and I'll do whatever you want. Like a seal. Like a barking seal. Alright, next in here. Yeah, there's next. I hope we're coming to the end. Because it's a, this might be end up being my longest haul ever. Do I still have all my fingernails on? Wow. Now that is impressive. Oh, but first, little chicken bro brooch. Why do I, I want to call it a brooch? Because I read it like brooch. I know it's not brooch. But sometimes we should just call it a brooch for the fun of it. But why did I get a chicken brooch? Because it made me laugh. I thought, what an odd thing to make a sparkly brooch out of. A rooster, frankly, if we're going to be correct. It's a rooster brooch. And it's funny, and that's all it needs to be. I might give this to my friend who has a chicken farm. I might put it in her Christmas card. Suddenly, I'm just giving everybody Christmas cards. They're going to be like, wait a minute, you've never given out Christmas cards before. Oh, but that was before I had all these little nifty things to put in them. Okay, there's a bag in here that is literally... Let me get some more small things out. Okay, here are some balloon dog earrings. They are really blue. I don't know. Why not? Here is a ring. That is a little heart. It's a sacred heart. Flaming heart. I could really use some hand cream. I mean, some good hand cream, not some Timu hand cream. <laughs> there is some good hand cream. You know what a good hand cream is? Okay. So gold bond hand cream is really, really good. But if you don't want to pay that much, go to Walgreens and get the Walgreens dupe of the gold bond hand cream. It's right next to the gold bond hand cream, except it's Walgreens brand. It's really, really good hand cream. It's like putting a moist, it's like putting a glove on your hand and it stays that way all day. Your hands are so soft and it's so awesome. And it's got ceramides in it and all this good stuff for your hands in it. It's got a really good formulation. This is another bead. Do a shot. It's a little, it's Murano glass. And if I remember correctly, 
which is why it comes in this fancy pouch. And it was probably, I don't know, $30. I have no idea. I'm making that up. But I'm just over it at this point. I'm over looking at prices. <laughs> I'm over digging. Okay, the chicken, chicken brooch, though. There's the chicken brooch. There are the nutcrackers. Let's see what I paid for those nutcracker nesting dolls that are impossible to get open. I paid, well, they are now $8.98. And just so we can all sleep tonight, the tiniest one, I'm going to blow it up. Here's what the tiniest one looks like. The one that will never be seen because I can't get it open. Whoa, my battery's almost in the red. Then we'll really be out of luck. Do another shot. This is another bead. I don't know what it is. It's blue. Blue and sparkly. Sparkly blue skies. What is that? Santa on his sleigh? I think. This, these are little candy cane earrings. Enamel. Cute. I think they're enamel. I don't know. I do want to see them. I hope they were only like a dollar ninety-eight or something because I now have so much Christmas jewelry. I don't even know if it's gonna Oh, those are really pretty. Pretty. Okay, candy cane earrings. Pretty. A dollar is anybody still here? It's an hour and twenty-one minutes. Little white and pink Christmas tree earrings. So many earrings. So little time. Another ring that is a snowflake. I think. Oh, it's a spinning snowflake. <laughs> Nice. It's adjustable. Is it? <gasps> it fits on. I'm engaged to a snowman. Leave me alone. Okay, it fits on my middle finger and I can spin it around all day. That's fabulous. I'm wearing that tomorrow. Just so I can spin it. Spin it to win it. Almost threw the candy canes away right there. I'm trying to keep up with the trash, too. Keeping up with the trash, not the bead. Don't throw away the bead. Okay, everybody do a shot. It's another pair of homemade fingernails. Handmade fingernails. I like to take macaroni and cheese and dump a lot of turmeric on it. It brings inflammation down. These are medium-sized, pink and black. Who knows if they are going to fit or not. I know I am running out of room for all this stuff. And I am getting tired. Tired. Even with all that coffee I've been drinking all day. I think we're almost done. I think the only thing in here is... All right here are so I mean there's a big pair of boots that I cannot get out of here. These are earrings and they are Christmas lights on they're like kind of cheesy. They are plastic Christmas lights. And they look a little cheesy. I hope I didn't pay too much for those. Okay, boots that are in here are are taped literally to the bag. Or the bag. Oh, here's a ring. I, I just have a feeling something is bound to get lost. Because the way they've taped, like the boots got taped. Like when they taped the bag closed, they taped this... They put the boots in a bag. So this is a ring that is a little piece of tourmaline or something, I think. And it's on a chain. 
I mean, it's on, it's beaded. So it's just a little beaded ring. Oh, where's this ring? I don't want to lose this one. I love this ring, you guys. Okay, so we're looking at this. This is pretty. I like this. It's cool. That's awesome. I'm glad I found that. I'm trying to get these boots untaped from the bottom of the bag. You hear that? I need to get my scissors down in here and cut them loose. And it's frustrating because I don't want to... They're red, everybody. And they are taped to the bag. Like, how annoying is that? Oh my gosh. And how am I going to check to see if anything else is missing? Ah, uh, just cut. Wow, I don't even, I can't even figure out how they managed to do this. Okay, before we look at those, let me just kind of do my best. To look at the wreckages of this. Alright, the last thing at a, an hour and 26 minutes. Still have the fingernails on. Are some cute red boots. Although they feel like they are made of paper, they feel very cheap. They have a stacked heel. They're okay. Um, yeah, I like them. I would have worn them today, actually. Well, no, it's pouring down rain. They're like a suede, like a faux suede material. But they've got this little detail, and then they zip on on the inside. They've got these stacked heels and 40 I don't know I wear a size 8 I hope that works out but nice they've got a rounded pointed pointed rounded toe rounded toe I like them okay I will look at those and see how much they cost mainly because I'd like to remember myself maybe if I put my clothes back on I'm going to just put Naked Timu Hall. Oh, there's the reindeer ornament. I paid $1.47 for it. Good. That's about what I would pay at Dollar Tree. Well, it's about 25 more, 25 cents more than I would pay at Dollar Tree. Okay, I want to find those boots. And I want to know what I paid for those. Wait, I'm missing a lot of things. Oh, there's still two bags over there. I'll do those tomorrow. <laughs> what if I was like, let's do them now, everybody. People would scream, no. Yeah, I'm missing leggings. I'm missing a lot. Christmas leggings. Red boots, red boots. There they are. Okay, yay. Here's a lot of stuff we just looked at. Okay, let me put my glasses on. Okay, candy cane earrings, which they call one pair of Christmas crutch pen pendant earrings were 79 cents. They're still 79 cents. Blue balloon dog earrings were 98 cents and they are still 98 cents and they come in every color ever you can pick. Glossy blue cat eye nails are $5.99, are $5.99. I didn't see those nails. Those cheesy Christmas lights earrings are $1.34. Those boots are made for walking $11.88 and I paid 
$21.47 for them. And I did get that price adjustment today. $10 price adjustment. And it was awesome because I turned right around and spent it on a Santa Claus sweatshirt. 2024 earrings are $1.34. And that, my friends, is finally it. Oh my gosh, if you made it all the way to the end, I'm curious, you know, thank you. If you waited all the way, if you made it to the end, thank you for sticking around until the end. Thank you for watching my channel. If you're new, I hope you subscribe and stick around. We do a lot of hauls here. We have a lot of fun. I'm usually in a much better mood. Today is just kind of a weird day. It's kind of weird. Tomorrow will be a better day. So tomorrow I'll open two more bags and I think I'm going to do another lunchtime review and just try to crank them out. Thank you for watching my lunchtime product reviews. It means a lot to me. It helps me show the company that I can get the views. <laughs> so thank you. I love and appreciate you guys. Can't thank you enough. And I hope you have a really nice evening morning, afternoon, whatever it is, whenever it is when you're watching this. I hope it's fabulous for you and I will talk to you tomorrow. Now we say I hope I still have memory on this laptop, let alone battery, and how do we stop this thing? Bye everybody!